best known for her roles in The Righteous Gemstones and Knives Out, Edie Patterson is stripping all the comforts of acting on screen away with one. And Edie is here to tell us all about it. Edie, so good to see you. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. <laughs> I Listen, I want you to tell me about this show because it's there's no script. It's just you, which sounds frightening to me, but yeah. tell us how it works. Yeah, it's frightening to me too. Um, <laughs> every, every single time I do it, um, I'm filled with a, a low-grade terror for weeks. Red. Yeah. Um, Deanna Oliver, who was um, a groundling very early on in the groundlings and is an, an alum, she just thought, wouldn't that be fun if I have some of my favorite improvisers improvise for an hour by themselves and play all the characters. And so uh, that's what we do. And I've been improvising for a long time now and I don't get nervous before other shows. I just get sort of psyched and happy to do them. This one I have full terror to the point that I um, I have to do like crazy mental gymnastics. I have to remember that we're all gonna die, like crazy stuff. Okay, so, but you do you do all this at the Groundlings Theater, um, which like you said, you've done this so many times before um, to sold out audiences. What is the craziest thing that people, have, well, someone has ever suggested that you do or, or a few things that you can remember? Well, what we usually get uh, is we, Deanna will get people to come up on stage and sort of build three sets, which, you know, it's going to be different this time because it's online, but they'll build sets for me that I don't see until I'm out on stage. Oh my God. And then she'll ask the audience uh, what they want the show to be called. And so uh -huh. they'll throw out a thousand like crazy titles and then she'll make up a name for me as the person who's doing the show. So it's not Edie who's doing the show. It's a, right. an, actually another character doing the show. The Groundlings is such a, a historic, groundbreaking improv group. How did you get involved with, with them in the first place? Um, well, when I first moved to LA after going to college in Texas, I knew, I knew of the Groundlings um, and I knew a lot of people I liked had been Groundlings. And so I went to see a show and um, was just sort of like, you know, that full body chills feeling when you feel like, oh my God, they're doing what I like. They're doing characters. Yeah. But do you ever bring some of your other past characters into these improv shows like, you know, Judy Gemstone or Ms. Yeah. Abbott? Do they, do they make appearances? Um, Judy, Judy Gemstone and Jen Abbott will not make it into one um, just because they, they live in their own world. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of characters, what can you tell us about season two of The Righteous Gemstones? Where are we at? Well, we uh, are hopefully going back to shoot in March. I think you won't be disappointed. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Where do you pull inspiration from for the characters that are on that show? Because there's characters on oh. that show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, um, interestingly, most of us who uh, write for the show did grow up in the South. So there's some of that in the mix. And most of us did grow up um, in some version of uh, regular church. You know, we pull on those experiences and those uh, sort of kind of mindsets. And I would say a lot of times though, for, for like Judy Gemstone, I'm just thinking like, uh, I'm just trying to take the truth of the moment and let it be turned up to 11 for her. I was gonna there's, say. There's not a ton of truth. <laughs> I love it. Is there going to be any new musical numbers in season two? You know, there will be. I love it. And will Judy finally get her moment to shine? I mean, <laughs> I hope. Fingers crossed for sweet Jay Judes. <laughs> you also have a movie coming out or a movie that you were working on called The Guilty. What can you tell us about it? Most of the actors in it are uh, voiceover. So I, I'm a person who uh, Jake Gyllenhaal talks to on the phone and most of the actors in the movie are someone he talks to on the phone. Huh. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool, um, really cool thing. Um, Antoine Fuqua directed it and you know, he's beyond incredible. Yeah. So it's going to be, uh, a fast and amazing movie. I think fun to watch. Well, I will say this, that you are fun to watch. And I'm hey, so thanks. glad that we got to talk today and Edie will be performing one Tuesday, March 2nd. To get tickets and more info, visit groundlings.com. And I, I know that you're nervous walking up to it, but I know that min the minute it starts, you're going to be just magical and, and you're going to shine. So I can't wait to watch it.
Thanks so much.